It's the beginning of the month and that means that the Hero Arts Classic Kit, Premium Kit, and add-ons are available. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and this month Hero Arts is celebrating the season of holidays. I am so excited to share with you all of the stamps, dies, stencils, and more that are available this month. That means there's lots to share. So let's just jump into the card making and I'll be sure to let you know what the names of the new products are as we go along. Let's first start with the main classic kit. This kit includes some layering dies. In the kit itself you also get some cardstock and other goodies, but these three layering dies can go on top of each other to create a really beautiful scene. There are also are a couple of sentiments as well as shadows to go around those. I'm going to start by cutting out all of the dies that are layering dies out of white cardstock. So I am creating a wintry scene. This entire month's kit and add-ons has a ton of different winter forest scenes and other things that you can create to celebrate any type of season's greetings. So I have the first layer put down on an A2 piece of silver mirror cardstock and then I'll just pop up the second layer which is just from the middle to the bottom and it just adds another tree and a layer of snow drift. Then this top layer I'll have a little bit of foam tape around the edges so that I can pop it up on top of the back to layers and that silver metallic cardstock. So this is a really beautiful way to easily create a background scene. You could do a lot more with it if you wanted to. I liked keeping it all white, so it would be a really snowy Christmas scene, which would be so beautiful just for that day, right? <laughs> so I have the two fonts cut out of dark blue cardstock. This is Nautical from Hero Arts, and I have the shadow shadows cut out of vellum so that you can just barely see the hint of the shadow around that element there. And now I'm using the silver lacquer pen just to add a little bit of glitter to those touches of circles die cut out of the top. This is the premium kit. It also includes everything that was in that classic kit and it also includes these snowflakes which are vellum with silver. It includes these little peek around animals and a stamp set with a bunch of sentiments and images. So I cut out the one layer of the classic kit and I'm using the season's greetings from that stamp set that's only in the premium kit and heat embossing it with white embossing powder. Then I have a couple of elements from that first little stamp set that comes in the classic kit and I'm pouring white satin pearl embossing powder on top. So the season's greetings I really wanted to stand out. These little elements I kind of wanted to be very subtle in the background and that white satin pearl embossing powder is perfect for that. Then I'll use my precision press to add some liquid glue. This guy is a bear that's actually a fancy die that is in the add-ons. So this one I've attached to the right hand side there. You can see it's peeking out and there's a small bear as well as a fox that comes in the premium kit as dies. So I cut all of the animals out of brown cardstock. I added a little bit of white for their eyes just to make them stand out a little more. But they're so easy to wrap around the trees, which is the cutest little thing to see all those little forest animals peeking out from behind the trees. Next up, we have the Folk Winter Animals Bundle. So there are stamps or a bundle of stamps and dies. The dies cut out everything here, including the sentiments. I decided to cut all of the folk art animals out and stamp them first in a blue indigo ink from Hero Arts. I'm adding a little bit of gold just to some of the elements that are inside the animals, the flowers that are painted inside. Another look would be to stamp them in black and then color in just those interior pieces or 
have each animal be a different bright color. There's so many ways to use these. I really like the blue and white with the gold. I think it just kind of keeps it all consistent and looks really cool too. So I'm using the dies to cut them all out. For the cinnamon, I stamped it in Versamark ink and I'm covering it with the new Hero Arts Iridescent Gold Embossing Powder. When you heat set that, it is such a beautiful color. I decided to cut those out as well so that I could pop them up. That's the nice thing about having the dies for the sentiments and the images is that you can really add lots of dimension to your card. So I have an A2 piece of white cardstock and I'm figuring out how I can can fit every single stamped image that I have plus my sentiment on this background. So it took a little bit of puzzling, moving things around, trying to get even borders around everything, and I did end up adding another flower above the deer, but I love this card for its simplicity and how pretty it is. This is the Color Layering Folk Winter Animals stencils. There's three stencils in this set, and they create a similar looking animal to what we created in the last card. So I'm putting an A2 piece of white cardstock down on my waffle flower grip mat and then the first stencil on top. I'll use some shader brushes and lots of colors of Distress Oxide ink to create a whole rainbow of folk art flowers. So the last one I really wanted to stay with one color, that blue and white with a little bit of gold in the accents. This one, I decided to go crazy with color. And it's a totally different look, but I really like both of them. So for all of the colors, there's a pink, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple. And for all of those colors, I used two hues at least so that you could see the lighter elements were the background of the animals and then the darker elements were their eyes and the flowers that decorate them. So Again, really easy to create this really beautiful, colorful background with those stencils. I'm stamping Merry Christmas and again, cutting it out with those dies so that I can pop it up. I did try stamping the Merry Christmas right on the background. It was good, but it kind of got lost. I like this popped up sentiment a whole lot better. So don't throw out that background, just try something new. These are the ornament fancy dies. I'm cutting the ornaments out of gold mirror cardstock, and then I'll cut them out again with their center pieces included that cut out the details. So you can see that then you can use some liquid glue behind those detail pieces and adhere them right on top of the mirrored gold and you'll get this beautiful two-tone effect of all the colors that you want on your ornaments plus a really nice shiny gold. I cut the caps out of silver mirror cardstock and I'm using again liquid glue with my precision press to adhere those caps down to the ornaments. These are so much fun and they're so big you could use them in so many different ways. You could have one ornament on a card with a sentiment. You could use these to hang as actual ornaments on your tree. They're absolutely beautiful and that little cap has the whole at the top where you could hang string through them. So tons of ways to use these dies. You could even cut these out of felt if you wanted and that would create a pretty ornament. I used the sentiment stamp set from the beginning of the premium kit and I'm using some of those snowflakes to stamp a background, a really light background with pastel colors that will go nicely with the pastel colors of the cardstock that I chose for the ornaments. Just using an acrylic block here because my stamping doesn't have to be perfect. I want it to be subtle and to lay in the background. Now I've popped up all three ornaments around that sentiment and then I'll flip the card over and cut off anything that hangs off the side. I know it's sad to cut these ornaments but it kind of looks cool when all three of them are on the card and they're flush to the edge like that. Next up this is the swirling star stencil. I'll use a light blue cardstock placed on the waffle flower grip mat and then the swirling star stencil on top. This is a single stencil not a 
set. You can see I'm using washi tape, not because that it won't stick, because it will stick to the grip mat, but because I don't want my grip mat to get any lunar paste on it or solar paste. That's what I'm using here. So look at that design. I absolutely love it. It looks so pretty and I love that sort of just hint of color. I've cut out the Seasons Greetings Sentiment and now I'm using one of those snowflakes from the premium kit. I'll just put a dot of glue anywhere there is that silver dot so that it'll hide behind that vellum and I'll place this right in the middle of the stenciled background. It is nice and dry now. Don't worry. I definitely waited this time without smearing anything. And then I'll pop up the sentiment right in the center of that snowflake and it just is such an easy card to put together, but it's so much fun with those stencils. This is the Winter Trees Bundle. You can see everything pretty much comes with a die if you get those dies, except for the little footprints. And I am stamping a little bit of everything here on, again, that nautical cardstock, this time in Versamark ink as well, but I'm using the new iridescent blue embossing powder. It is amazing. It's such a cool effect. Look at that. I think it would be great for Halloween as well, but I thought it worked well with this kind of forest background. I did decide to add a little bit more embossing ink and add some white embossing powder on top. So you have that kind of glowy effect of the trees in the forest, but then also some snow on them too. So I'm using all of those dyes to cut everything out. And then I'm even adding a little bit more white with some white gel pen details so that the bottom isn't so dark with that nautical cardstock. I've stamped in heat embossed season's greetings and some of those little birdie footsteps at the bottom of the card and cut it down to four by five and a quarter so I can mat it on some silver cardstock. Then I just play with popping some of those trees up and having some of them flat to the card and using the smaller trees in the background so they look further away and the larger trees in the front so they look like they are close up. And again, that iridescent blue embossing powder with the white snow, I think it is such a stunning combination, so easy to create. This is the Starry Moon Bold Prints stamp. This is a six by six stamp and it's a cling mounted rubber stamp. So I'll put a little anti-static powder on another piece of nautical cardstock. I'm really into the nautical this month. Such a cool color. And I'll stamp it with some Versamark embossing ink. This time I'll use one of my favorite old time embossing powders from Hero Arts, the Silver Sparkle. I've talked about it before. I love the combination of silver embossing powder and a silver glitter in there. So you just get this absolutely phenomenal shine and check that out. I think that came out so cool. That would be such a great background for so many different cards. This is the Holiday Reindeer dies and I've cut the Holiday Reindeer out of craft cardstock and I'll add some marker to the hooves and the eyes so that they are black and that's just a really easy way. Instead of coloring the entire deer, just color in some spots that need a little bit of a darker color. The die set comes with a scarf as well, so I adhered that down to the reindeer and then popped up the reindeer on that really cool background that we already created. Then I decided I wanted to add a few more details, so I added some white gel pen details to the tail and to the insides of the ears, and then I wanted to darken the antlers too, so I used an Ahuhu marker for that. Could have done all of this before I adhered it down to the background, but I just didn't think of it. And I added some white gel pen details to the scarf as well. I cut out Happy Winter from the sentiments from the classic kit that we had in the beginning, didn't put shadows on them and just adhered them down to the card. I love all of these combinations of new products like stamps with layering stencils and dies and other things that really help you pull together those holiday cards quickly. And it is definitely get a jump on Christmas season. So I'll link to that playlist here if you haven't checked it out. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Like I can feel my eyeballs sweating. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Sweaty eyeballs. <laughs>